If you're looking for a 60 amp flight stack for your 8 or 10 inch drone or semi lifter build, this F405 60 amp V4 flight stack from SpeedyB should definitely be on your shopping list. It's supported by iNav and Betaflight and has all the usual quality and features that we've come to expect from SpeedyB. And as always with SpeedyB, it comes at a great price. Hello and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. I never fail to be impressed when I get my hands on a new Speedy B fly stack. As always, the signature yellow soft mounts, but mainly they just ooze quality. These are very nicely produced PCBs using 3 ounce inner layer copper, and the 4 in 1 ESC sports this swoopy aluminium heatsink. And as you can see, it's proudly silk screened with the current rating of 60 amps. And that's the first big change with this version 4. The previous V3 was 50 amps. Now, before I get distracted by the specs and the other improvements, let's get to the important subject of price. This entire stack is $75.99. And if I'm honest, I have absolutely no idea how that's even possible in the current world financial climate. It's ridiculously good value. The MCU on here is an STM32F405 and the gyro is now an ICM42688P which is a change from the BMI270 on the previous version. It also has a separate power supply and improved surge protection for the gyro to achieve better noise performance. And that's further improved using a 100 microfarad tantalum capacitor on here. Being tantalum that just means the capacitor is very small for a large capacitance value. It's got 5 volt and 9 volt backs that are now 3 amps rather than 2 amps on the previous version. And the other V3 board had compatibility issues with certain micro SD cards, with a few even occasionally affecting the OSD. Now this version fixes those and this now reliably supports C4, C6, C10 and higher cards at 2K and 4K logging rates. And Betaflight and iNav can now see up to 4 gig of black box space on the card that you put in here. The other big change, especially if you're using iNav, is this now properly supports D-Shot on all eight motor outputs. Now this was a problem previously, and you had to use Multi-Shot or OneShot125 on iNav, and although the iNav devs made some changes for the previous SpeedyB stacks to support D-Shot, it was a bit of a workaround to be honest. This now natively supports D-Shot for iNav and that makes me rather happy. And all this means that building an X8 or a Y6 configuration senior lifter is much much easier. And other than being about 10 grams heavier than the V3, these are pretty much the same. You get six UARTs, eight motor outputs and a built-in barometer and an SD card slot on the back here for storing your black box data. There's an I2C connection for an external magnetometer or whatever you want to use. The usual SpeedyB, four LED battery indicators are on here and a few extra backs. You get two 4.5 volts for GPS and for your receiver and a 3.3 volt for older receivers. And the great thing that SpeedyB have done on this is the GPS 4.5 volt supply works from the main battery or the USB input. And this makes setting up the GPS really easy because you can do it indoors on the bench using your computer and a USB cable. No need to track outside any longer with a big battery. And this all talks to the SpeedyB app using a combination of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so you can wirelessly set up your flight controller with Betaflight or iNav just using your phone. No USB cables are needed. And this makes pit tuning in the field so quick and easy. I've been using the app since it first appeared and I won't be without it now. You can even flash new firmware on here if you need to. And you can use the app to change motor direction wirelessly as well without needing to use the BL Heli configurator. I've done a few other videos on this, so check them out. 
Okay, on to this stunning looking 4-in-1 ESC. Apart from the higher continuous current rating of 60 amps and this alloy heatsink, there's a few other changes as well. It's now got 22 filtering capacitors and the new MOSFETs they're using have a lower internal resistance of 1.1 milliohms. And in practical terms, that means this just runs a bit cooler. It runs BL Heli S firmware, but you can flash Blue Joe if you want. And that, of course, gives you bi-directional D-shot. It's not needed for iNav because its filtering works without it, but with Betaflight, you can take advantage of that to improve the dynamic filtering. And as normal now for Speedy B, this has got built-in TVS protection diode to help minimize surge issues when you plug the battery in. You can power this off anything between 2 and 6S. In the box, you get some mounting hardware, all the usual bits and pieces. You get a 1000 microfarad low ESR noise suppression capacitor and a pre-soldered XT60 and a small bag of cables. The stack is DJI 03 air unit ready, so you get a plug and play cable like this one and the usual interconnect cable to go between the flight controller PCB and the ESC. Let me sort of get right way around. It's that way. There we go. So that plugs across there like that. But they also include this long cable. And this is something that I've been going on about for ages. See, the thing is, with 4-in-1 ESCs, which have been around for a long time now, interconnecting the two is really easy when you've got a short cable like this. Really trivial. You just screw them together, put the cable across there like that. And the idea is that the little arrow points forward because that's the way that the gyro's oriented. But what happens when you need to spin either the flight controller or the ESC PCB around? You either need to make a new cable or laboriously solder separate cable, cables together between the two boards. And that's really annoying. But SpeedyB have listened to someone, probably not me, and they've included this longer interconnect cable that will reach around from there to there even if you spin the board around 180 degrees what's the point well how many times have you wanted to change the orientation of the battery connectors down here to suit the way that you want to mount this in the stack or maybe even think about moving where the usb connector is because it's just not in a convenient place if you do that you're going to have to make a longer cable. How often does this happen? Well, for me, it seems to be about every other build. So having this longer cable means you can switch that around and connect the two together without any trouble at all. Obviously, you need to change the gyro orientation, but it means that physically you can mount them around whichever way you want. It's a very nice touch. Well, there you have it, the Speedy B F405 60 amp V4 flight stack with lots of great improvements and a fantastic price of $75.99. Now, I've just finished another Cinelifter X8 build using this V4 board and two of the 60 amp ESCs uh, buried down in here. It's running INAS 7.1 and it flies beautifully on these big old 8 inch props and there's another build in the pipeline as well. I'll be using the same stacks for this. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you can follow me there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.